Hi, hello, friends. Happy Sunday. Um, coming from my kitchen, of course. Where else would I be? Either in my craft room or my kitchen. Those are the two places I'm always at. But I wanted to hop on here quick and show you what I was making. My friend Bernan, or Brie, is um, not feeling well, her and her family. So I thought I would whip up a pot of homemade chicken noodle soup or dumpling soup. But instead of chicken, I have this huge leftover turkey right from Thanksgiving. I have a huge carcass with tons of meat. I'm going to make bone broth from it. But I'm picking a ton of meat from it to make this um, turkey, homemade turkey dumpling soup. So I wanted to have you guys come along with me. I was going to show you what I was doing today in the kitchen. So I'm going to turn you. So here's my turkey carcass <laughs> from Thanksgiving. Lots of good flavor still yet there. I picked a bunch of white meat off of there. And I got it boiling in the soup here. So this is, all I did was shredded up ch um, the turkey, as you see, um, and I cut up um, half of an onion, celery, and carrots. And I put a little olive oil, let those start cooking, and then I was tearing off the turkey, put that in there, and I put a cup, maybe a cup and a half of water, and then I used a whole big box of chicken broth, put that in there, so it's a boiling. And um, so, let's turn that down a little bit. Um, and then I put all the seasoning in there. So for me, it's salt, pepper, um, and then I used this, I was gonna show you, Epicure SPG, which is salt, pepper, garlic, and a whole bunch of other seasonings. You can see that it's green. So it has a bunch of other herbs in it. And you can smell the garlic and it smells wonderful. So instead of trying to come up with like all of the other seasonings that you put in parsley or whatever you put in your um, chicken noodle soup or turkey noodle soup, um, this kind of helps because again, it's organic, it's free of all the bad stuff, it's really good for you. So this I've been using a lot and you can't see it but I'm like halfway gone with it already. I've been putting, I put it in my, in my turkey when I baked my turkey also. So I'm just going to boil that. That's what it's doing on the oven. It's boiling. Ooh. Um, I'm going to boil it and let those veggies cook and get soft. Al dente. And then I'm making over here, you guys, some homemade dumplings. So if you don't know how to make homemade dumplings, it's so easy, you guys. So it's just a couple eggs, a fourth cup butter and flour until it reaches the consistency of like, my mom always said like gum, like it sticks to your fingers. This is probably too runny. I mean, you could do it that, in that consistency, but you wanna, she always told me um, to do it so, do a little bit of flour, so you just add the flour a little bit at a time until it reaches that consistency that you want. Um, and it may be that consistency that you like. I like it to be a little bit more tacky, I guess you would say. So I'm gonna, and all I do is I just add a little bit more flour at a time. Um, and also, like I've always said, just a little bit at a time. Don't put a ton of flour. So I'm just, take my fingers, and I just like add little dropfuls of flour. And then I mix it with my fork, like this. And I'm just gonna mix it until it gets to the kind of consistency that I want. And then all you do is you bring your soup up to a boil, which our soup is to a boil already, as you can see here. Um, and so all I'm gonna do is you take like a spoonful, or I have a fork, because I like to mash the butter and eggs together. So you just took like a spoonful and you drop it in the boiling soup water and then it'll boil those dumplings and then you have dumplings with your soup, turkey, homemade turkey dumpling soup or if you're using chicken or whatever you're using. So super easy. You can jupe up these um, dumplings too. You could put seasoning in them. My mama always just did the eggs, butter and flour, but um, I'm gonna prop you up here. <laughs> which you're kind of seeing the top of my 
microwave or the bottom of my microwave, <laughs> I'm going to use a little bit of this SPG from Epicure. And I'm going to put, oof, that's probably like a good teaspoon or more, in with your dumplings just to give it like more flavor, bring the flavor home, right? Yeah. So I'm just going to mix that in with the dumplings. And again, there's no science to it. You kind of, I know people love measurements, but sometimes with cooking, it's just the texture that you're looking for. And in all honesty, this looks pretty good. It's kind of that kind of thick tackiness. And so all I do is, I don't know where to put you guys so you can see everything. I just don't have all the contraptions. <laughs> so, and I need my hands free. Maybe I'll put you there. All right, cool. So, I just take my dumplings and I just put a blop in the boiling soup. So, I got the soup up and it's boiling away. And remember that your dumplings will poof up. So, you don't want to put a huge amount in the boiling soup. You just want to put like that much in there and you just drop it in there and it will cook and so that's all I'm doing is I'm going to drop spoonfuls of this dumpling in here and you want it good rip and roaring I'm just going to put a little bit more flour because again <clears throat> I want the dumplings to stay together if you don't have enough flour in there sometimes they'll fall apart so I really want them to poof up because that's what the flour does. It helps them poof up. That's a technical word, isn't it? <laughs> poof up in cooking. So you want them almost on the drier side, the, the dumplings. Um, I know people are intimidated by dumplings, but really, once you make them, guys, um, it won't be intimidating. So this is a little bit drier of a mixture. So I'm just going to dump... And I usually double this. So if it's two eggs, a fourth cup butter, and flour until it gets like tacky, I usually dub it, double it because I love dumplings. <laughs> so if you're like me and you love dumplings, double that. So, you know, do double the one fourth butter, double, do four eggs instead of two. And you'll have to definitely put more flour in because you'll have more death. So they're in here. I'm just going to turn up the heat because once you start dropping the dumplings, they tend to, but there it is. It's kind of a semi-cooked dumpling. So I'm just going to let this mixture boil away with the dumplings. And I might make another batch of dumplings because... <laughs> and Ava saying hello. Because I don't feel like this is enough dumplings. Like... Like I said, I love dumplings, so the more the better. So, but two key points. Add enough flour, otherwise your dumpling will fall apart. And make sure that your water is rip-roaring so it boils and cooks those dumplings. Okay, you guys? So, let me wash my hands. So I just wanted to show you another option of how to use up that leftover turkey from Thanksgiving. Everybody does the awesome turkey sandwiches and all that fun stuff, but you can make, you know, homemade um, dumpling soup with it also. It's super good. So from this carcass, I'm going to put it in my pressure cooker and I'm going to make bone broth from it. And so it's going to get all that goodness from the bone and the meat and the, all the flavors of my turkey and it's going to be awesome bone broth that I can use in soups and casseroles and whatever I want. So it's going to show you this. What's up, Ava? Can you please peel It's a rip roaring. You can see all the dumplings in there, you guys. So it's going to be super good. Fish. Yep. So I hope you guys are having a good Sunday. Just wanted to hop on here and show you us making turkey homemade dumpling soup. Love yeah. you guys. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving and I'll see you soon. Bye.